What's up you guys? I'm Kirsten. Welcome back to another video. If you've never been here before, I'm so happy that you're here and you're watching this yoga video. I make all kinds of lifestyle type videos. So if you're here for that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But if you don't really know me yet, I don't expect you to hit the subscribe button, okay? I just expect you to get what you came for, which is yoga. So without further ado, my friends, let's get started. We're gonna be doing a not too hard, but not too easy yoga today. Perfect for beginners, perfect for people who are just trying to pick up their yoga pace a little bit. Grab a mat, obviously and drink some water. I know everybody says that, but seriously, just chug some water before you start this because you're gonna want it. It just lubricates all your muscles and your joints. Drink some water. And also, don't forget to get something comfy on, okay? If you're wearing a whole workout setup, more power to you, okay? But if you just wanna get up in some sweatpants, I'm here for it. You don't even have to wear a sports bra, throw on a t-shirt, do it naked, I don't care. And of course, always, always, always do what feels good for your body. So if there's anything that happens in this yoga session that you're like, uh-uh, that's not good for me. My body don't like that. Just don't do it. Nobody is judging you. Don't worry, baby, okay? We're in this together. I got you. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, here we go, well, here we go. All right, you guys, we're gonna start by getting comfy and just drawing some circles with your nose to wake up your neck and your shoulders. Take it really nice and easy here. You don't wanna crunch or hurt your neck. You're just trying to unwind and get ready for the practice. Fix your hair if you need to. Obviously, I had some troubles here. Now we're gonna start on our backs. So just take your time, be gentle getting there. It's the little things that's gonna mess you up, baby, okay? So just be easy in these transitions. All right, so we're gonna get down on our backs, get comfortable. Oh my goodness, who is this? Oh my goodness gracious, this is just too much. Olive wants to do yoga too. Oh, what a cutie. Okay, Olive, let's, let's let mommy do the yoga, yep. Yes, I love you. Yep, the people love you. Why don't we just, uh, okay, that's not gonna work. We're just gonna have to do it around him. We're just gonna have to do it around him, yep. All right, you guys, so we're gonna come into the happy baby here. I like to sort of roll into it so that I don't go too fast or jerk myself into any position. So you grab the edges of your feet, the outer edges, or you can grab your two big toes and you're just gonna loosen up those hips, let yourself relax into happy baby. And then we're gonna take the feet back down to the mat. I like to do this on days that I'm feeling a little bit tight in my hips or in my lower back. We're gonna slowly come up to a bridge here. Pinch your shoulders behind your back. Allow your animal to come through your bridge, you know, under the bridge. This wasn't supposed to happen like this. And you can't see, but behind me, he's just stretching too. You see, he's doing a little downward dog, little upward dog. So we come out of our bridge and we're gonna roll like a ball a few times up into a seated position. So just take your time getting there. All right, roll the shoulders out, take a deep breath, and then slowly come onto all fours. Make sure that you place your knees wide when you come into all fours. Gotta get the toy, distract him so I can do some yoga with you guys. But definitely always check and make sure that your knees are nicely under your hips. You don't want them to come in too close together or you'll do a little bit more damage than you can imagine, honestly. We're gonna get right into Cat-Cow and make the most of this right here, y'all. You've already got your ass up in the air. Just give it 100%. And make sure you breathe with this. If you're not breathing with the moves, it's just pointless. The whole point of yoga is to join the breath with the movement, like a moving meditation. And I like to imagine when I'm doing this that I'm moving from my tailbone. So try to curl with your tailbone when you do this.
we're gonna slowly come up into our first downward dog and try to move like you're being pulled up by somebody who's attached a string to your butt bone. I'm not exactly sure how they would tie a string to your butt bone, but that's how I like to think of it. Get your hands right, make sure that you're pressing into all your fingertips, and we're gonna slowly lift our right leg into three-legged dog, and bring our knee into our chest, lift our leg back into three-legged dog, and then bring our knee into our right elbow, lift our leg back up into three-legged dog again, and then bring the knee into the left elbow. And make sure that again, you're pressing equally into your fingertips here, not to have pressure in your wrists. We're gonna hit each one of these one more time. So we're gonna hit right into the chest, and then the right elbow, and then one more time into the left elbow. And then on your last three-legged dog, you're gonna bring your right foot all the way forward, plant it underneath your knee, make sure that your knee is in alignment over your ankle, and then you're gonna slowly come up. I like to make sure by just running my hands down my leg, make sure that I'm in alignment, knee over ankle, and then slowly come up, pressing equally into all four corners of your feet into a high lunge position and try to scoop your tailbone inward so that you're aligned over your hips. You don't wanna be sticking that booty out. You know, there's plenty of times to stick the booty out, but not today. Make sure that you are rotating your shoulder blades and plugging them in. We're gonna slowly shift into warrior two. Make sure that you pivot on that back leg there. Olive is saying it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna go into Peaceful Warrior here. Make sure to breathe deeply in this move. This is a nice big stretch. You wanna make sure you're breathing. We're gonna cartwheel forward into our high lunge and then slowly but surely put all your weight into that right foot in the front and then we're gonna launch up into our airplane. And make sure that you are really pointing your inner thigh up towards the sky. You wanna make sure that you're flexing your back foot as well and try to be as straight as you can. Try to imagine that you could just put a, a teacup on your booty and just somebody could sip from it, but that might be a little bit weird. Maybe, maybe not have somebody sip from it, but a teacup on your booty, okay? We'll catch ourselves, plant the back foot, and then slowly come into a warrior one position. Pivot that back foot one more time and come into our warrior one position. Make sure that you scoop that tailbone inward so that you're stacking over your hips. Feel free to keep your hands at your waist here or put them up into the air like you just don't care. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna go into plank. You can feel free to go for chaturanga to up dog and then down dog. Or if you wanna take it a little bit slower, definitely nobody's judging you. Just go down belly to cobra to down dog. Once you get into downward dog, we're gonna make sure our feet are nice and wide, our toes are pointed inward. And lift that left leg up into three-legged dog. Bring it forward and have your knee come to the center chest, back up to three-legged dog. Knee in to right elbow, back up to three-legged dog. And then knee in to left elbow. Now last round of these, so make it count. We're gonna bring that leg up to three-legged dog, into your chest, then to your elbow, and then your opposite elbow. Then on that last three-legged dog, I want you to really make it count and bring that left leg all the way up. Stack your knee over your ankle and put as much power as you can into all four corners of that left foot in the front here. Feel free to raise your arms up for this high lunge position and make sure you're breathing, guys. This practice ain't shit without the breath, okay?
Now we're gonna come down, we're gonna put all that weight into the four corners of our left foot, and we're gonna blast off, baby, blast off into airplane. Put it on airplane mode. Inner thigh up to the sky, flex that foot, and it's okay, I'm not straight here. Huh. My leg's not straight here. You don't have to get the leg straight. Your point is, is to make sure that you're rotating that inner thigh up towards the sky and that you really wanna have that foot flexed here. Now catch yourself and let that back right foot land. Pivot on that back foot so that we can get slowly into warrior two. Nobody's rushing you here, baby. Don't worry, take it slow. I like to scoop my hips like this and just make sure that I'm not curling my booty outward. From here, we're gonna move slowly into Peaceful Warrior. And then cartwheel forward into our high lunge. Take this slowly, my friends. We're gonna come into Warrior One here. So slowly pivot again on that back foot. Rotate your shoulders, make sure they're nicely plugged in and your back isn't hunched over. You're giving your spine all the space you can. Make sure you check in with your hips. You're not sticking that booty out. Feel free to adjust. If your feet don't feel like they're in the right position, move them, that's okay. We're gonna come back down into our plank, legs wide. Make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on the wrists here. We're gonna come down into a chaturanga. Look back. Ooh, it looks nice, girl. And then we're gonna slowly come up to down dog. Feel it out here, walk your dog out if you like. And then we're gonna come down to our knees here. Slowly come down into child's pose. I like extended child's pose. I have sensitive knees and so for me, extended child's pose is where it's at. And just take a few breaths here. Peel your nose up to look up. Come back up to all fours. And then come back into a plank. Bring your right leg into a gentle pigeon. We're not gonna go too hard here. This isn't about making sure the move looks right. It's about making sure the move feels right. This doesn't have to be a textbook pigeon pose. Just find something that feels good for you and stretch those hips and that nice round booty out, girl or boy. Y'all all have nice booties. Make sure that you keep the feet active and flexed here. That way you protect your knees. And just take a few deep breaths here. We're almost done with the practice. This is such a nice pose to just soak up some of the work that you've been doing. Just find something that feels good for you and work your way up. Like I said, this doesn't have to be a perfect pigeon posture. That's not what it's about here. Just find a comfy pigeon and relax into that, baby. We're gonna slowly come up pigeon posture on each side. Take a few deep breaths here, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Remember that no matter where you are, you made it here right now. So no matter how far you think you are from your goals, you made it to the mat today. And that is one step closer to the reality that you're trying to get towards. That's one step closer to the you you're trying to become. So don't worry. You're already on the way. You already got to the mat. We're going to slowly come up after our pigeon posture on each side and roll to our backs on the mat. Roll slowly, you know, make this count. It's good for your spine. It's good for those abs, baby. And I like to let my hips move around a little bit. I like to rotate my knees in circles here. It feels so good for my hips. Mm -hmm. 
and then if you have a sensitive tailbone like your girl over here feel free to put your hands under your booty we're gonna protect that tailbone while we get ready for some scissor kicks one at a time, make sure the biggest thing here, it doesn't matter how low your legs come down, it matters that your lower back stays touching the mat. That makes sure that you're actually working the right muscles. Otherwise, you're not even doing the right workout. You don't have to get your legs to come down very far here. It's just about making sure that you're sucking in those lower abs, that lower core, and making sure your lower back stays touching the mat. Now bring your legs in for a quick second, breathe, and then we're gonna come back for crisscross legs, one leg over the other. And again, so important that you just keep that lower back touching the mat here. You don't have to have your legs super close to the floor. Now bring your legs in and grab the outsides of your feet for happy baby. Feel free to stretch out your legs here like I'm doing. You can alternate each leg. Just make sure that you're flexing your feet so that you help protect those knees. Now we're gonna roll like a ball for a few breaths here. Don't forget to breathe when you're moving. And we're gonna land in Shavasana or lying flat on your back. Try to relax absolutely everything here. And this took me a while to get. These are some of the areas that I tended to not be able to relax at first and I didn't even realize it. Try to focus on relaxing your inner thighs, your feet, your shoulders, in between your eyebrows. I definitely found myself tensing up without thinking about it and Shavasana always helps me check in with that now. If you'd like an even deeper hip opener, feel free to come into a laying cobbler's pose here with your feet together and your knees wide. I seriously cannot get enough of this pose, especially at the end of a practice. Even if you only have a few minutes, let's say you've been traveling and your hips are tight, find yourself a place to lay down and get into a lying cobbler's pose. And you will thank me for this one, I'm telling you. Slowly come over to one side and lift up into a seated position. Cross one leg over the other. Bring yourself into a little crisscross applesauce, baby. Bring your arms up into the air. We bring our hands together to our chest. Bring our chin to our chest and we say, Namaste, my friends. I seriously love you guys so much and I really hope you enjoyed this practice with me. And honestly, I am beyond honored that so many of you guys hit me up and asked me to even make this video. So definitely let me know in the comments. Keep reaching out to me and let me know what you want to see. I seriously love getting these requests. So I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you ain't already and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.